How's it going YouTube? In my first video, I showed you how to scrape emails from Instagram. So today, I want to quickly show you how to do the same thing from Facebook. Scraping emails from Facebook business pages is super effective in creating, you know, very, very targeted lookalike audiences once you have enough emails for your niche. We're going to scrape emails from Facebook in pretty much the same way that we did from Instagram. We're going to utilize Google search operators along with the program uh, Scrapebox. If you don't have Scrapebox, I highly, highly suggest purchasing it. It, it. It's a little bit upfront, but it's definitely going to pay for itself multiple times over in the long run. Please don't think I'm affiliated with them. They don't even offer an affiliate program, but I will leave a link uh, for you to download Scrapebox in the description. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So let's get into this. The first thing that I want to do is explain this search, search operator that I'm going to be using to return the Facebook results that I'm going to have Scrapebox scrape to return the emails. Now the first part of this is in URL, in URL colon question mark ref equals page underscore internal. Now the reason that I'm using this is because if you go to uh, if you go to Facebook on any business page and you go to the about part, you're going to see that exact search string. I'm sorry, string of characters at the end of the URL. Every single uh, Facebook business page has this at the end. Now, even further than that, to make sure that it only returns business pages, um, I add this in there: in text colon business info. And in this instance, the dash is just, it just means a space to Google. And I do that because on every business page, you're gonna see business info. Now to show you the proof of concept, um, I'm gonna you know, run a test. And for the sake of this video, let's say that we're gonna target plumbers. So you type in plumber and then you enter your search string and hit enter and boom, there we are. 10,900 results. All of these pages are the Facebook business pages of plumbers. So let's just click into a couple to show you, you know, that I'm, I'm not lying to you. Cameron Plumbing Inc. business page. Uh, what is this? Go Gallo Plumbing and Heating. Discount Drains. Boom. It's pretty simple. Now, the next step is to take this well, this search query and place it into Scrapebox. So let's open up Scrapebox. Once we have Scrapebox open, we're going to enter our search query into the Harvester box. And then here, we're going to put our keywords. So for the sake of this video, again, we're going to use Plumber. And we're just going to click Start Harvesting. Make sure that we're, you can use Google and Yahoo. Get a little more results and just click start and let it do its thing. As you can see, it's doing its work. It's already returned, uh, let's see, 232 results. I'm sure a lot more are gonna show up. Let's see what it gets. And here we are, 432 results. Now the next step is to click remove filter and remove duplicate URLs. That way, we're not gonna have Scrapebox scrape the same thing twice. So click that, you know, still 423. And after that, we're gonna click grab check, grab emails by crawling sites. And what that's gonna do is look at these URLs and find all the emails within those URLs. So click it and just click start and let it do, let it do its thing. Give it a second to start working and here we go. So that took about, I don't know, two or three minutes, but it's all done and I, it's returned me 296 emails and save the file here. And let's drag that over to the screen. And as you can see, I now have 296 emails that I can either throw into Facebook and make a, you know, a custom, custom audience off of, or I can cold email them and offer my services. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to reach out. Thank you.